Hi guys, today I'm doing a request from one of my subscribers, David from Spain. Thanks Dave for leaving a comment down below. Um, he wants to know how TPU runs on the Ender 3 V3, just the plain V3, no SE or KE, just V3. So uh, that's what we're going to do today, run some TPU free, see how it goes. We're going to run a little um, overhang and bridging test on it to um, just check out what, what the stringing and stuff is like on normal stock standard TPU. Um, I'm using... I think it's the Sunlu TPU. So if anyone else has any requests of stuff they want me to check, um, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, now would be a good time. Thanks very much, guys. Okay. So we're just going to print this little file here. And I'm going to use generic TPU. So let me pick that from list generic TPU. There we go. <coughs> Make sure that we're not Yeah, I've got my V3 selected there. And I'll just go slice. Now that slice, I can sub it off to the printer. So just got some black TPU here. I have had it in my um, filament dryer overnight. So in the um, reality pine. So this is a stock standard one. I have made no changes to it at all. So, can't use that little bit. I'm just going to use the Bowden tubes and everything, just as you would normally. Let's see how it goes sticking this up for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had to take the Bowden tube out of the filament runout sensor just to line it up properly. Now just push it through. You could, the proper way probably to do it would be run it directly into the uh, print head. Without all the Bowden tubes, it would probably run a bit better that way, but we'll go stock standard, see how it goes. Unlock it. Unlock to cool. Now, what we usually do too when I load, so pull this out, pull a bit out of there, and I feed it into the into the extruder. Come on. There we go. Cool. I can feel it <clears throat> going past the gears, so that's good. Then push that back in, pop that in place. Okay, so all I've done there is just manually fed it as far into the extruder as I could. And the easiest way to do it is to take the Bowden tube out, pull a bit out, and then feed the filament directly in. Let's sub the job from the old computer. Oh, man. Okay, back to here. And I will do a man trick. And I will find my V3, which is there. So I've got a few on here, as you can see, that's the KE, which is not turned on at the moment because I've run out of filament. And I don't have any filament to put in it. Uh, there's the V3, the Max and the K1 are both printing. Oh, they're not printing, they must have finished. Okay, so on those two, I'm printing my um, current droid. So let's just sub that to the printer. Oh, I'm going to one. So we've got this little neb nebula camera here. Where are we? Just here, that's a little nebula, the one at the top in the bleed, a little um, stand, I've got it on, I print it out, so there's a USB slot on the, um, just down the side here, yeah, just there, so that's where you plug it in, so I'll plug it in now, and what you do is plug it in, just a USB A, so plug it in, I don't have to do anything else to it. Now let's go in and have a look. So if we come over here, now if I go into devices, and I go to, this is my Ender 3 V3, and I go to details over here, you'll see, uh, here's my, I took the hand in front of it, there's a nebula cap. So it's plug, it's plug and play. It's, I've done nothing to, to the configuration or anything. It's plug and play. If I was to turn the lights out, let's turn the lights out. As you can see, so that's dark. I'll take it back to the other one, and you can sort of see how dark it is in the room. Let me just down there, ladies. You can see how dark it is on um, on the cameras there. Whereas if I go back to this, it's um, both night and bright there. Eh? Let's make it pretty clean. So that's without light.
DVD, DVD. Olha onde deve vir o stream, né? Aqui, velho. Opa. Jack guys, so here's the, the second reel of um, TP, the TP of TP Silk I had. And this is the, it is heaps better. So I'm just wondering if I had a crappy bit of um, TPU that was, maybe needed a bit more drying than I gave it. Let see. Underneath there. It, it, um, and look at the writing on the front, you can actually read it really easy. Where I can really struggle with the other one. Right. So, this is the other one that I struggle, you can see it very struggling to uh, struggle to read it. With this one, it's really easy. And if you have a look at the um, bridging here, you can see the bridging through there. Okay, where well, this one, the bridging is sort of non-existent. <laughs> you can see it there, it's all collapsed. Just down here. You can see it's all collapsed, and there's just no bridging at all on this one. And the, um, well, this up here, where well, this one, and it is TPE, so you can bend it and simply put it on. This one has, that one on. Anyway, it's got nice bridging and the um it's nowhere near as bad on the um overhangs and i can actually read text on this one oh, I'm trying to that way. <laughs> that way you can read the actual text and the other thing that's um there you go <laughs> the other thing that was um noticeable was the heaps less string we've got a tiny bit on the like these little pillars it must have been wobbling around a fair bit when it was printing, so you've got a little bit of, um, little bit of uh, yeah, so you got a little bit of um, pimpling and stuff on there, but it's nowhere near as bad as the other ones. So this one, you can see, um, you've got lots of um, stringing and stuff on that one, and right up the top of the overhangs are just terrible. Okay, so I'm thinking that might have been a rather wet film. This is old TPU. Um, it seems to be softer too, I don't know. But this one came out really good for TPU, yeah? So, and you can see the bridging there. That's all lined up. And the, um, you can see the difference in the overhangs too. Cool, so really good for tpu this one once again i used all the exactly same settings as i used for this one nothing changed except for the film on. so um yeah that one the bin. Crap. this one turned out pretty good you can use that as a benchmark um so there you go so they're the two um crappy wet filament and a decent filament because that this, this late last one i pulled straight out of this sealed pack and I know it's, you're not guaranteed to have decent filament and pull it out of seal pack, but it's more likely you're going to have less moisture in the filament than if you're just sitting trying to put it in a resealable bag. <laughs> but don't reseal very well. And, um, yeah, moisture gets in there. So I did um, put it in the filament dryer, but I just think it needed a lot longer because I didn't realise it had so much moisture in it. Anyway, there you go. So there's a two. Um, hope it helped. Guys, I hope um, that was informative, it's what you wanted to see. Um, and David, I hope that answered your question. So, as you saw with the um, Nebula camera, it's just a plug and play. You plug it in the way it goes. Um, it works pretty well. The night vision on it is really good. Okay, so you, you can see on the very front here, it's got a little, that's a focus knob. So, you can set it for distance, not automatic. You can set it for distance or close up um, and just leave it there going um if you did make it this far um, a like would be appreciated and a, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe just the buttons down below won't take you long at all um, if you want me to go and test out any other um materials or or pull apart a printer so you can have a look what's inside or something just um put it in the comments and i'll see what i can do 
Um, if you haven't become members of the Facebook groups, um, jump on and join. I know Creality got heaps. Um, I know Bamboo's got some. Um, Any cubic, they've all got, they've all got some. Um, but I do know the Creality ones are staffed by employees of the of the um, company, and you know, you, you, lots and lots of people with knowledge there, and you can ask what you want on those groups. Um, like I said, there's also a Discord and forums for Creality as well. If you're planning on buying a printer, uh, I do have an affiliate link down in the description below. It costs you no more, but just flings me a little bit of money to help run the channel, um, especially with filament stuff that I have to buy. Because um, really, I only don't use TVU except for videos. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I've done two models where I've made little tires on it because I had the TVU. But anyway, um, I hope you have a nice day, guys. And don't forget to comment if you want anything else done. Um, see you later. Enjoy. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate your support. You might like one of these or one of these videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.